All right, continue with our piece here that we're doing. All right, we're gonna come up underneath here. Well, quite a bit more. Let's go on down to our feet in here. Let's go ahead and start separating our feet. Now, as I was talking in the last video, uh, I have nothing against nudes or anything like that. I just don't think that in a family atmosphere, necessarily they're they're appropriate. Uh, if you want to call me a prude, then do, but, but I like clothing. <laughs> some, <laughs> some people, some people need to have their clothes on, <laughs> including myself. <laughs> I mean, they don't need to be, uh, walking around naked all the time. And that's fine. I think clothing are, is a good thing. Now, I know in Europe there's differences in the way people think uh, and the way they, they do. And I think even commercials and stuff like that, they have that over there. And that is up to them. But I, I feel that, uh, and there's a, there's a, there's a bo verse in the Bible where, where God says, you know, do not look upon thy the nakedness of thy parents and stuff and I just think that uh, that uh, we should not run around naked in front of our children so if I've offended anyone I'm sorry but uh, I try to but I have seen some wood carvings that are nudes that are just beautiful they are just beautiful beautiful work gorgeous work the statue David is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of work. But in the statue David, he was a very muscular person where I don't have those attributes or <laughs> oh boy <laughs> we have to laugh at ourselves folks we have to all right Working on the feet here, just bringing the feet back. Got to be careful around these areas in here because you are getting into the area that can break easily or the knife can slip easily or whatever. So you want to be very careful what you're doing. Working this down. Got a little area in the wood right there that's it's uh, uh, weak, so I must be very careful when I'm around it. Good thing about this project, it's it's, it's more just shaping than anything in the world. More just shaping. Let me go ahead and cut in here. Go ahead and establish where my 
because the apron is going to be somewhere in there. Okay, I'm going to come up around here and establish where the hand goes into the apron. Okay, as we look at our piece here, we're slowly bringing it down, slowly bringing it down, Just bring these shoes down. I got a very nice email from a husband and wife the other day and they said uh, that because of the videos they have started carving him and his wife both and they just absolutely love it the bit you know it's, it's messages like that that just really does my heart good to know that that I am helping someone in some way learn this wonderful art that we have here. I know I'm not the best teacher in the world, there are a lot better teachers, but all right, Here we go. That did my heart good to hear that we are helping some, you know, that I am helping someone to learn the great wonderful art of wood carving. We get up here around these shoulders we start taking a little bit off more because and to give us more of a shoulder work. There we go. Okay now let's just kind of come around let's sort of here okay I'm kind of coming from the back here making our Just sort of go from side to side, bringing these areas down. As we slowly but surely work in the And in between the legs here, so looking. As we look at the piece.
coming back here to where our arms are you sort of bring that out and then just sort of come up like that bring that out just sort of come up like that come from the inside cut our arms in there then we'll just sort of bring that down sort of separate that we go and from the inside separate like that because we want to bring these arms down some same thing here so that we can bring this area down and the arms down sort of bring the back bring these arms uh, her arms would not be that particularly huge See, a lot of people will, will immediately carve the head and do all that stuff. But I like to, I like to, to get my, you know, roundness and uh, symmetrical eyes by just sort of looking at my piece and going around him. Look at the evenness of them. There. All right, my time is up for this uh, part two of this video. And uh, so we will continue with it. Here we go.